you know, it's such a small state, but the conditions can be so different. People along the shoreline waking up this morning to grassy surfaces, and in inland Connecticut, we're waking up to four to five, even six inches of snow in parts. I just got an email from Sue in Unionville, five inches of snow there. Here are some other totals for you. Canton, four and a half, Watertown, three. Uh, 0.7 Burlington. You can see the totals there. So we did get uh, anywhere from three to six inches in parts of northern Connecticut, especially northwest Connecticut, and even up in northeast Connecticut. Uh, our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scanning the state dry right now. The roads are slick. Be careful out there this morning. Even uh, where the roads are just wet, the temperatures are below the freezing mark and there could be some icy spots. So we have slick roads this morning. Snow squalls later this afternoon. I just kind of explained them to you, but I'm going to show you those coming up again on future cast. These could do some real real, real harm in the state. Uh, they are talking about the potential for even some lightning and thunder. Uh, you, that's amazing. Uh, so as a strong, strong Arctic cold front moves through, it's going to turn bitter and cold tonight after the front makes its way through. So it's going to really be incredible. All right, a wind advisory goes into effect for windy conditions. Two to nine. Uh, this is uh, late this, uh, well, early this afternoon through uh, around, right around nine o'clock this evening. That means it's going to be windy. Then you throw in the cold. This is midnight tonight through late tomorrow morning. A wind chill advisory goes into effect for just about most of the state with the exception of the immediate shoreline of New Haven, Middlesex and New London counties. But everybody should be playing along here because it's going to get frighteningly cold. I mean, we're talking about 20 to 25 degrees below zero with the real feel. The temperatures are actually going to be below zero as well. Not 25 zero, not 25 degrees below, but with the wind, it will make it feel like that. All right, the temperature trend today. It moves up to about 30, 31. You'll notice the icons. You're like, what's he talking about? Well, we haven't gotten to 3 o'clock yet. That's when the icons are going to start to change, and we're going to start to throw in those snow showers, those snow squalls in the state. By about uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, we're about 30 for the shoreline with a bright, abundant sunshine. But then those snow squalls move in. They hit uh, hard. They move quickly through the state. They'll only last in your hometown about 15 to 20 minutes, but they could put down a coating to an inch to possibly two inches in parts of the state from west to east. That's later this afternoon through this evening. The winds are picking up. Don't get me wrong. I mean, these were not there at 430 this morning. Now anywhere from 10 to 14 to 15 miles an hour out of the west, we are seeing those winds, and that makes the temperatures feel like it's in the mid to upper teens. Uh, 12 degrees in Salisbury, 12 in Torrington, so you got to bundle up this morning. Beautiful skyline. Looks like a Thomas Kincaid painting, painter of light. Hartford, good morning to you. We're getting ready for the clouds to make a departure. And Middletown, you'll notice the sheen on the highway there, so please exercise caution. All right, satellite and radar confirms the storm is gone, but there's another frontal boundary. This is an Arctic front that means business. Behind it, much, much colder air is going to be moving in. And that front, as it moves through, well, it touches off these snow squalls, which could reduce visibility. It'll be accompanied with winds to about 50 miles an hour. The snow squalls push through the state. And then tonight, still a, an occasional snow shower, but the, the uh, snow showers are going to wind down tonight. Uh, temperatures today, well, uh, let's concentrate on the wind chill values for tonight because this is really unbelievable. All right, once again, today, not too bad. It's tonight around 5 p.m. We start to see that cold air moving in. And then look at this. Look at this. 18, 20 degrees below zero. This is... Uh, 12 o'clock tonight, midnight tonight, and then we wake up tomorrow morning on Eyewitness News to 22 degrees below zero in parts of northwest Connecticut. That's a tough, tough morning. So with kids at the bus stop, and you're going to just have to put them in the car and wait with them. Highs today in the mid to upper 20s, and then your seven-day forecast does moderate after tomorrow. The temperatures start moving up, and the next chance for rain is Monday into Tuesday, but it will be rain with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s and low 50s. But today, snow squalls. Tomorrow, bitter cold.